Day two, Ontario Open. Uh, I'm here with the, the first ever Canadian UFC champion, Carlos Newton. Uh, Carlos, how are you doing today and how does it feel uh, being on the side of a jiu-jitsu competition, being the coach? Oh, it's, uh, well, first, you know, I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, life is, life is uh, treat me, treating me really well. Having a lot of fun here today. And uh, part of that is being a coach. It's, uh, it's really nice, uh, you know, helping the kids stay calm, get them ready for competition, you know. So it's really good to be able to draw on my own experience. And, uh, you know, I really understand how they feel. And, uh, you know, like we make a good connection. And, uh, you know, as long as they go out there and have fun, they're going to learn something. And uh, we go back to the gym, you know, we practice what they learned. And, uh, you know, they keep getting better. Um, from there, from that standpoint, you know, as long as they do that, they're going to be the best they can be. All right, so for those that don't know, you're in the GTA uh, instructing at A school. Let them know how they could go, train with you, where it's at, etc. Well, I'm teaching right now at Revolution MMA. Uh, you can check us out at revmma.com. And uh, I'm there every day. So come out, train, have some fun, jump on the mats, and we have a good time. So there's students coming in. They look at you, they see what you have accomplished in the sport. Uh, they say they want to emulate you or do like you did. Uh, what do you tell them? What, how hard uh, work do they have to put in to get to that level? Oh, they, they, they have to work really hard. Uh, you know, and I tell students, you know, if you want to be good at, say, you know, um, martial arts in general, you have to compete. Compete a lot. Compete in everything. Uh, my two main sports I always recommend guys to compete in is boxing and wrestling. And, uh, you know, you have time, you fit into the odd jiu-jitsu competition here and there. But uh, if you're going to be a professional fighter, boxing and wrestling is what you got to do. How about strength compete. and... Compete. Compete. <laughs> boxing compete. and wrestling. Yeah, you got to compete. You got to sign up at Boxing Ontario, get your card, compete. Go sign up at uh, Wrestling Ontario, get your card, compete. That, you're the first person that ever named those two sports that I've ever wow. talked to. It's, it's experience, experience. I like it. Um, also, how about strength and conditioning? Does that play a big part into uh, being a high-level athlete? Yeah, uh, conditioning for striking, you know, that comes with the territory. As long as you compete and you intend to compete uh, uh, at your highest level, uh, you're capable of competing at, the conditioning comes with it. It's part of the territory. You can't do, uh, you can't compete without that. So. Also, I was just wondering, uh, let people know how important it is to, to get in these grassroots tournaments and uh, if you ever want to, people say they want to win worlds, yet they don't even do uh, the tournaments. Yeah. So how important is it to, to come out and support a tournament like Ontario Open? Hey, Ontario Open, you know, it's one of our bigger tournaments, but uh, so always start small, start small, start small, take every uh, tournament, you know, and uh, go as a, as a valuable learning experience. Uh, you know, don't try and just train for the big ones. Sometimes the small competitions are nice warm-ups for the big competitions. That's how the most elite athletes do it, and uh, you know, that's the way anyone would have to do it. You know, you, you gotta like uh, take your time. You know, it's like going to the pool, swim for the day. You know, you gotta splash yourself with the water first because if you jump right in right away, you're gonna you don't know how cold it is. You might freaking uh, you know your shit might just fly off. So <laughs> always splash yourself a little bit. So go to a small tournament, splash yourself, get 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 used to the temperature out there, and then you know go to the Ontario Open, a bigger tournament, and jump right in. All right, thank you. I just want uh, last words with you. Uh, any any sponsors you want to shout out? Uh, maybe anyone uh, you just want to give uh, thanks to. And uh, final words with Carlos Newton. Hey, uh, you know, guys, I uh, just want to give the guys at Rev MMA a shout out and the guys at Warrior, warriormma.com, a shout out. Good job. We're training, you know, looking for upcoming fights. And, uh, you know, uh, keep up the hard work, guys. Everyone, train hard. Thank you very much. And uh, keep watching, guys.